Welcome back, Bible Methodist family. We're continuing our 10 days of prayer and fasting together up until the day of Pentecost Sunday. Reading from Acts chapter 2, verse 1. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. Who's the all? In Acts chapter 1, verse 15, we are told by Luke that the company of persons was in all about 120. 120. 120 are in the upper room. Women, men, young, old, apostles, and people who weren't. We have different professions there. Tax collector, someone who was once a fisherman, and other people. They were all together. That, another version says, one accord, one mind. One accord and one mind. And what strikes me, what strikes me about that is that they were all together before the Holy Spirit came. They were all together before the Holy Spirit baptized them. And they were, they were all together. They, they were of one mind before that all happened. Acts chapter one, because the second verse is right after it tells us, and suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. That's the other symbol, wind, to describe the Holy Spirit. One mind before they did away with their personal agendas because receiving power to be witnesses for God was way more important. They, they did away for 10 days and it just so happened in last and well, God planned for it to happen 10 days, but they didn't know it was going to last 10 days. Jesus told them to tarry until you receive the Holy Spirit, until you receive power. And they were there 10 days united. United. I wonder, is it possible for us today to unite before we receive power? What if, what if God is holding back power because we're divided? They were of one mind and one passion because they concluded that sharing the gospel of the kingdom of God was way more important than the vision. Sharing the gospel of the kingdom of God was, was way more important than their personal agendas and, 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 and things that divided them. They, they were together. One, you know how hard it is <laughs> to agree with 120 different other people? <laughs> they were of one mind. They were of one Passion. Bible Methodist family, can we unite during these 10 days of prayer and fasting and, and put away differences for the sake of being witnesses for God, for receiving the power that he wants to bestow so that this lost and dying world would hear the gospel message from a united Church. They were united before they received the power. 
And so I challenge you. I challenge me. I, I, I challenge us to be united because God pours out his spirit on 120 people. <laughs> You'll notice in, in the book of Acts, he's always pouring out his spirit on several people. And God wants to do that on his people today still. Be united. And then we can expect the power that God wants to give us to be his witnesses.